So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your fourth tutorial for ES6 in which I'm going to go a little bit over what the arrow function notation is in ES6 and why this is the future. So ES6 brings us this fat arrow notation or what we just call as arrow functions which is essentially just again a sort of kind of a syntactic way of defining functions but it brings us with one major feature rather or disadvantage or whatever you want to call it depending upon what your code actually does and that is the scope or rather what this keyword means so first of all first things first let's just see what this actually is so what we can do in regular javascript we define something like uh, i don't know let's just say test function and we say something like function and uh, our definition goes here we can say console log this works right and we can just call test function just like that and we get this works nothing fancy going on here again we can just define something like function test function 2 and it's more or less the same thing and we can just say console log this works too right and yeah so that works too test function two there we go so what we can do with arrow functions is first of all how do you actually define them well to define an arrow function you can do var or let's do a let because it's es6 what it would just work with var as well i'm just going with let because we're trying to do es6 now so i'm gonna do test function 3 is and now what I'm gonna do is actually make use of these two parentheses now what we would rather do with ES5 is write function and the brackets now let's just see how to switch this to ES6 first of all we get rid of this function then after these parentheses what we do is we write this fat arrow which is essentially what we call as fat arrow notation so that is it yep this is your function uh, you can just say console.log this works too and hit enter and you can just go ahead and call test function 3 and there we go we get this works too as the console log and what this essentially means is that right now we are not passing any parameters right so what we can do with ES6 is that we can trim this code a little bit more if you pay very close attention and that is pretty much that if you do not include these parentheses what happens is that by default this code or rather let me just show you first of all let's just say I say uh, something like this works only right and if I change this to test string and hit enter now what should be test string according to you well obviously there are a lot of choices here but uh, you can see that this is a function and uh, rather not a function but if you call it you can see we get this this works now what the, what happened what's happening here under the hood is that this function is being expanded as or not really expanded as but how you can take a look at this is that this is a function then we get rid of this fat arrow and we get a return okay so where the heck does this return come from well that's actually happens whenever you do not apply these curly braces right so it's kind of useful if you just want to return another function value or you don't you are just creating a function to return some other thing with some modification so without curly braces this pretty much means that there's a return word sitting in here okay so how do you pass parameters to these functions well to do that what you can do is let's just say we create a function uh, uh, this is function and we create some function parameters like parameter 1 and parameter 2 and we use fat arrow notation and we define something like return parameter 1 plus parameter 2 right so again if you take a close look we can trim this code down a little and we can get rid of this return but now we want to tell javascript that actually we want to return only this value and there's nothing else in this function going on so we get rid of these curly braces as well 
and that brings us to only this definition so this pretty much means that accept two parameters and return their sum so if we hit enter and i say this is function and we get like 10 20 you see we get 30 which is exactly the correct answer okay so that was it but we're gonna take a look at something known as the lexical scoping of the this keyword in these es6 functions 